Hey Tim here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually embed metrics in 21.4. This is really nice to see because up until now, you've only been able to embed dashboards. In the Tableau conference, Tableau talked a bit about embedding all of Tableau everywhere. And so it's really nice to see every single part of the Tableau platform become embeddable in other solutions. It really brings analytics to the places where we actually work. So let's show you this feature. I'm going to take this particular metric. If I click into it, you see that I do get this uh, sort of indicator. And for a while, this this uh, target was actually sort of beating the target of 50k. So you can see that here it goes green, and here it goes red. And essentially, I want to take this metric and embed it inside of a platform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top right hand side where it says share metric, we're going to hit share metric. And when we do that, we get this share window. Now what I could actually do is share it with someone. But new in 21.4, you can now embed these inside of other platforms. So I'm going to copy the embed code. And the embed code is essentially a piece of code that allows uh, two things, it gets the asset from the Tableau service. So in this case, this is the metric. It tells Tableau what it is. And then the second thing is it loads some JavaScript that actually runs that uh, particular asset in the website. Essentially, the metric needs to look like the metric and that is all handled essentially by the JavaScript. It comes in and does a bit of HTML and CSS formatting. And it also looks at things like authentication and stuff like that for you. So the way I'm going to embed this is not how you'd really do this in a real application. But in a simple way, this might be something you might do if you're using single sign-on because essentially everyone might be signed on already. So let's go ahead and go to this. Now, this is actually something called the HTML5 boilerplate. I've actually just downloaded it off the internet. It's used in web development to give web developers a starting point so they don't have to go and code 100 things from scratch to work on a whole range of devices. If I actually double click it, you'll see it opens in a tab and you can see it says, hello world, this is a HTML5 boilerplate. This below is a metric. We currently don't have a metric there. So I'm going to edit this HTML file with the M embed code that I just copied and we're going to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and open this. I use VS Code as my code editor, so it's going to slide in here from my other screen. And now what we have is the HTML code. Now, if you've not used HTML or CSS before, don't worry, don't be intimidated. It's actually pretty easy to work with. It's just like a Word document, except for you get to see all the formatting and everything that's going on. Um, you can see this P tag is essentially a paragraph. This H2 is a headline. You sometimes see that in Word as well. I could make it a H1 or a H3. Let's just make this a H3 and then you can see the change uh, when we get there. But now I can actually just make this uh, uh, use work for the use case that I want, which is to paste the embed code that I copied. So just to remind you, I've copied this embed code. I've just selected this little option here. I click on that and it actually automatically copies it to the uh, clipboard. When I go in here, all I'm going to do is go to line 31 and paste. Oh, no, I copied the wrong thing. So let's let's make sure we actually copy the right thing. Now that is actually copied. I didn't actually click it before. And let's now actually paste this on line 31. And you can see the two things that I mentioned here before. Let me make it just larger so you can see see this a little bit more clearly and we'll sort of open up this window to the right. So um, on this first line, you've got the asset that I was talking about. So this is essentially some sort of tag. It says Tableau metric and it's telling it where to go and get the metric from. It's from the Tableau online website. Uh, it's on my specific uh, Tableau uh, Tim dev um, uh, site. You've got metrics and you've got the asset sort of ID 2531 is the ID of this particular tag. It's actually what you see up here. If you go to the URL, you can kind of see it up here. So if you're trying to build a platform that can sort of dynamically call this, you could use something like the Tableau server REST API to go and get a list of all the metrics where they belong. And you can be dynamically loading these metrics as people create them on server. That could be something that you do rather than manually going and grabbing the embed code. You could essentially just uh, dynamically build out this URL and then load them in uh, as you want. Now, the second line is the JavaScript that makes sure that that metric works. It's essentially using something called the JavaScript API. You can see JavaScript API for slash tableau.metric. And I'm sure there's other uh, JavaScript APIs here that do various different things, but it's essentially a piece of code that Tableau have written that makes this do what it's supposed to do. So let's go ahead and save this. I'm gonna sort of minimize this a little bit more. And uh, when I go back to my web page, you'll see that there's no change here. Now I made two changes. I turned this header from a H to a to H3, so we should see it get smaller. And the second thing is we should get the metric to load. So let's go ahead, hit refresh, give it a second, and there you go, we have the metric. It's loaded absolutely fine there. So this is great. I'll just make it larger for accessibility reasons. And so you can see this is working. Now, what is essentially going on here, if I just right click on this and I inspect the element, it opens up the uh, uh, HTML inspector on the right hand side. You need to have developer mode enabled to see this. But in essence, if I just go and select 
uh, everything that this has actually brought in. Let's just make sure that this is actually going on. So you can see here that this is essentially, uh, this HTML tag here is actually an iframe. So let's let's fully select the iframe. So if you're, if you're into this kind of stuff, this is what essentially Tableau has done with that JavaScript. That asset um, that it went and got essentially created a mini version of a web page inside of this particular context. And so that's what all an iframe does. It basically tells it where to go and get something from the internet and it creates its own HTML document inside of that little tiny space. And so you can see here, you've got things like the header and everything else. And then the metric is actually just being built here using JavaScript. Now, what's interesting is this doesn't feel like what Tableau uses to build uh, visualizations. It's not using VizQL. It's actually using something called React, which is another web technology to make websites just work a little bit better and be more dynamic. So you can see the individual elements that are being sort of built here. If I open this out, I'm sure we can even see the individual code that generates these lines. Uh, it's an SVG sort of item. So you can see uh, all the different things are sort of broken down and I can keep going down and there you go. You can actually see the individual data points that sort of uh, explain this path a little bit and you can kind of dig into this. So this is why it's not using something like VizQL, which actually just renders static images. So that's a bit of a uh, sort of, we just gone off piece there, me trying to show off my HTML understanding. Uh, which I don't really have much of at all. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, here we are. This is how the embedding capability works. So hopefully you find this useful. Hopefully you want to start embedding these things in different places. The easiest sort of thing to do with this is if you use single sign-on and everyone's gonna be authenticated like I was here, you can just start using this. Um, if you're already embedded and you're using the same authentication for Tableau as you're using for your portal, then you can just go grab that embed code. And most portals will have the ability to put things like this, embed code in HTML, into these sockets and boom, you're done. You can have four or five of these working. And again, just to show you how easy this is, let's go back out, get one more metric. We'll put it just below it. So let's get this one, let's get share metric and let's copy the embed code. Go back to my HTML, open this up with VS code. It should come back onto screen. There we go. And where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put this just below. I could tile these so they work a little bit better. So I'm just gonna put this again. Now what's interesting here is I don't believe I need this line of HTML again because it's already there. You can see it's basically the same one above. So all I'm actually gonna do, because I think I know how this works, maybe let's see how well this works, is I'm just gonna leave one line there. I don't need two versions of this because essentially uh, this is already sort of the way that this is working. I don't need to reference it twice. So once that I've done that, I'll hit save. And if I go back to my HTML page, uh, refresh that, I should have two metrics once that loads this. And it actually loads them side by side. This is a really nice boilerplate. It actually puts them side by side. So here we go. I've just created a page with some very simple metrics on there and it's really sort of nice to use and, and, and work with. So uh, have a go at this. It's really simple, I think, for lots of people to start using this everywhere and get involved with metrics. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.